Hey Dev Team, welcome back to Flutter with Drag. Uh, Big Brain Drag here has messed up and one of my viewers has kindly pointed out, thank you very much, that I have uploaded a, the same video twice in the middle of our quiz app and unfortunately I no longer have the original. So that's a bit of a problem. I am recording this to replace or at least uh, be able to point you in the right direction of episode four of the conference app and while I'm not going to try and rewrite it and try and remember what I said and what I did I'm going to take this opportunity to look at the code that was committed and just uh, essentially copy and paste it into episode three of the app. So here in the code terminal this is episode three that i have just downloaded from github and on github i've also come to this page where i can see the changes that we made in episode four so to get to this in case you're wondering let's just come back from our main page from the repository page i clicked on this here the history and came down to where we merged episode four in so i'm going to click on this and i can see the changes that we made and on github it's very neatly um, laid out for us with green lines showing lines that need to be added and red lines showing things that need to be taken away and so we can scroll through and we can see not that much changed uh, but let's take a look at it and see how we go. So the first one it seems to start with is the lib models answers model dart. So let's pull up that page lib model answer model dot dart. And it's showing us that we've added in some feedback. We could just copy and paste that. That would make uh, sense. But it's so small I'll type it in. So we have a final string feedback and the reason for that is I believe is this episode looking at the description of the uh, original episode four we were adding feedback to our quiz because if we take a look at the app at this stage when we answered the questions uh, CPU central processing unit let's get it wrong um, we didn't get any feedback so we didn't really know what was happening and so I think this episode was all about providing feedback so that's uh, oh it's not required okay look, looking at the the code it is not required so we're going to put this feedback but we set it to be a default of blank uh, assuming that there was no feedback okay that's that one done. Next, we looked at lib model quiz model. So lib model quiz models dot dart. And it seems we took out the answers under CPU. Oh, it looks like we only we only put in this for CPU. Under the choices, we took out the three lines. We didn't take them out, but I'm going to take them out and we put in these three lines which essentially is what we've done is just added feedback to those okay so that's straightforward enough I don't think we did any other changes in there no we didn't put any other feedback so we're not worried about that obviously if you were doing this for yourself you'd need to put feedback in for all the answers Okay, the next is the quiz block. Uh, well, I'm going to come to the quiz block afterwards. It's easier. Let's just come down. It's easier to change the state first. So let's come to the quiz page state. And on line 35, we seem to have added an integer final int score. Okay, and then we've set that up on the constructor to have a zero value so that when the quiz starts, we have no score, 
that makes sense. Uh, on line 53 then, we've added score to our prot. Okay, and then we've added int score here to our copy with, and we're saying if we provide a score, we'll use it, otherwise we'll use the original score in our copy with function. Okay, save that. Uh, it doesn't look like we made any changes to our event. So we'll come back to our quiz block now. We want to just skip and let's scroll on to this and see what we did in here. So it looks like we've removed the quiz repository. I'm not quite sure why we've done that. I don't remember, but we will follow it. And then we have set it up so that the constructor no longer takes the quiz repository, but only takes a quiz. OK, so instead of taking a quiz repository, we're just going to take in a quiz, which we call quiz. And then we're getting rid of this initializer. OK, so we're going to get rid of these two lines here as well, according to GitHub. But we're going to add in the final quiz, so final quiz, which is underscore quiz, and quiz get quiz which returns the quiz so it seems that we're returning a quiz now instead of uh, the quiz repository what's this complaining about final variables must be initialized oh we do we do initialize it i missed that okay so quiz equals quiz okay Let's continue to scroll down to a line 37, where on start quiz, I think we don't really need that, but that's probably a belt and braces thing we put in to ensure that when we start the quiz, uh, the score is naught. Um, or if we reset the quiz, I suppose. And then we've got on answer quiz. So on line 43, before we emit the state, we've added a few lines in here. So what have we got here? Well, we're getting a score by the looks of it at the beginning. So the score is the state score. And then we're saying if the answer status is unanswered. Ooh. OK, yeah. So we're saying if state answer status is unanswered then we're going to do something and we're going to do score plus equals event is correct 10 0 okay so what are we doing so we're putting this in here because okay and then on line 32 where we have essentially what we had before but instead of instead of calling that there, we're now going to use is selected. And I'm assuming we've done that because I'm assuming we're going to use the is selected somewhere else. Gosh, this is so long since I did this. I can't quite remember the code myself. OK. Um, yes, we do. So we come down now to line 41 where we have the title. And this we added in a subtitle here and the subtitle depends on whether the is selected is true or not if it is we're going to show text choice.feedback is not empty so is there some feedback 
if there is some feedback we're going to show it choice dot feedback otherwise we're going to put choice dot correct and if it is correct we're going to put that is correct otherwise we'll put that is not correct and if none of that's true we'll put null okay so there's a lot of a uh, lot of operators here so if it's selected we're going to do this otherwise we're going to put null and if subtitle is null and as you can see it's got a question mark after the widget so we can put null there then the subtitle won't show if it is selected we'll do this and then if we have put some feedback in then it will show the feedback if we haven't put feedback in it'll do this and this will say well is this the correct answer and if it is it will say that is correct and if it's not the correct answer we'll say that is not correct and that is that okay so let's save that page and so now I think that we've got a final page to do the quiz finished and in here there's a couple of changes so on the build context we're going to get the score it seems so int score equals context dot read quiz page block and let's import that and that and we'll get the state and we'll get the score and we can do that here we don't need to wrap it in a block because when we've got to the end of the quiz the score is not going to change but whatever the score is is the score so we're going to return a column which says well done you've finished the quiz and then we're going to put text you scored and then the score and that's it let's do a hard refresh of our app and let's see if that scoring works so general knowledge one let's get everything right so what does cpu stand for central processing unit and there's our feedback originally amazon sold what product books what was the name of the british scientist blah 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 tim berners lee and what year was nintendo founded and we've scored 40 excellent now if we get everything wrong so central printing unit we've got our feedback sold cloves fred flintstone and 1975 and we've scored naught and so presumably if we get some right so let's get central processing that's right let's get this wrong but then change it to the correct answer but we should our score should still be 10 now our score should be 20 our score should still be 20 and it is so there we are that is what we did in this episode uh, i'm sorry that i uploaded the wrong one but i hope doing that quickly has explained the code changes and why we've done what we've done and so now we should be able to move on and start on episode four and hopefully all the rest of the videos are in place okay if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe it does help me out and we'll see you soon take care folks bye now